Samsung recently introduced their new Galaxy S24 series at an event called Galaxy Unpacked 2024 on January 17. The most exciting model in this series is the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It stands out because it has the best specifications and features. To understand how much better it is, we compared it with last year's top model, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and looked at all the major improvements Samsung has made in their newest S-series phone. We've carefully examined the differences between the S23 Ultra and S24 Ultra, looking at various features such as their design, screens, cameras, and overall performance. With that in mind, let's dive into the detailed comparison of these two models. When looking at the design of the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the S24 Ultra, we see that they are quite similar in size. But Samsung has introduced some noticeable changes in the S24 Ultra. This year, the S24 Ultra features a titanium frame and a flat screen, which is a shift from the S23 Ultra's armor aluminum frame and its slightly curved display. As for their weight, they are almost the same. The S23 Ultra is 234 grams, while the S24 Ultra is just a gram lighter at 233 grams. For protection, the newest 24 Ultra uses a stronger type of glass called Gorilla Glass Victus 3 on both the front and back, which is better at preventing scratches and damage from drops. The older S23 Ultra had an earlier version of this glass, Gorilla Glass Victus 2. Both phones are also built to resist water and dust with an IP68 rating. Overall, both phones have a strong design and build quality, and the S24 Ultra continues to use the classic Note style that Samsung is known for. However, with its titanium frame, the S24 Ultra is probably better at handling tough drops, making it a more durable option. In terms of screen quality, both the S23 Ultra and the S24 Ultra have a 6.8-inch display with very high resolution QHD+. They both use a type of screen called LTPO AMOLED, which can change its refresh rate from 1Hz to 120Hz depending on what you're doing. However, a big change in the S24 Ultra is that Samsung has switched from a curved screen to a flat one, which will be great for those who prefer flat screens with even bezels. Another significant upgrade is the brightness of the S24 Ultra screen. It can reach an impressive peak brightness of 2,600 nits and maintain a high brightness of 1,500 nits. In comparison, the S23 Ultra screen could only reach a maximum of 1,750 nits and maintain 1,200 nits in its high brightness mode. While the S23 Ultra screen was already bright and clear, the S24 Ultra takes it to a new level, setting a higher standard for smartphone displays, which is something Samsung is known for in the industry. In comparing the cameras of the S23 Ultra and the S24 Ultra, both phones have strong cameras that can capture high-quality images. The S24 Ultra has an improved version of the 200 megapixel sensor for even better photos. A notable change is in the telephoto lens. The S24 Ultra has a 50 megapixel 5x periscope telephoto lens, replacing the 10x 10 megapixel lens in the S23 Ultra. While this might seem like a step back, Samsung believes that a 5x zoom is more practical for everyday photography on a phone, and the larger 50 megapixel lens will help take clearer and more detailed photos. Additionally, the S24 Ultra keeps a separate 3x telephoto lens, 10 megapixel, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, which are the same as in the S23 Ultra. For selfies, both phones have a 12 megapixel front camera. They can also digitally zoom up to 100x. Overall, both the S23 Ultra and the S24 Ultra have excellent cameras, but some users might miss the 10x periscope lens in the S24 Ultra. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, similar to last year's model, only offers a Qualcomm processor and does not have an Exynos version. It features a special Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, exclusive to the Galaxy series which is a bit faster than the standard Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. The main core's speed in this new chip has been increased to 3.4 GHz from 3.3 GHz. Also its GPU. Adreno 750 operates at a higher speed of 1000 MHz, which is a significant jump from the 719 MHz in the S23 Ultra. The S23 Ultra uses the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chipset, which is still a strong processor. However, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in the S24 Ultra shows better performance and efficiency, as indicated in the comparison table. For cooling, the S24 Ultra uses a much larger vapor chamber, 1.9 times bigger than the one in the S23 Ultra to keep the foam cool. This means that whether you're playing games or doing regular tasks, 
the S24 Ultra will provide top-notch performance, making it one of the best-performing Android smartphones available. Both the S23 Ultra and the S24 Ultra come equipped with a 5,000 mAh battery, providing substantial power capacity. These smartphones are designed to charge rapidly, allowing you to charge from 0% to 65% in just 30 minutes. Additionally, both models support 45-watt wired charging and 15-watt wireless charging, offering flexibility in how you power up your device. Samsung has really stepped up its game in the area of software updates with the new Galaxy S24 series. They promise an impressive seven years of Android OS upgrades for the S24 series. This means the Galaxy S24 Ultra will be updated all the way up to Android 21. In contrast, the S23 Ultra, which falls under the previous update policy, will receive four OS updates, reaching up to Android 17. It's worth noting, though, that users of the S23 Ultra will still benefit from five years of security updates. Regarding connectivity, the S23 Ultra and S24 Ultra are mostly similar, with one notable difference. The S24 Ultra supports the newer Wi-Fi 7 standard. Other than that, both phones offer a range of connectivity options, including NFC, 5G support for both standalone and non-standalone networks, Bluetooth 5.3, and ultra-wideband technology. Despite earlier rumors, Samsung decided not to include the emergency SOS VS satellite feature in the S24 Ultra this year, just like they did with the S23 Ultra. The pricing for the Galaxy S23 Ultra and S24 Ultra shows a difference, reflecting their specifications and features. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage starts at $1,199. In comparison, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, offering a higher base specification of 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, is priced starting at $1,299.99. This price difference can be attributed to the S24 Ultra's improved features, including a more advanced camera system, a stronger processor, and extended software update support. Based on our comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra does offer some improvements over the S23 Ultra, but these enhancements could be seen as incremental rather than groundbreaking. The S24 Ultra introduces a titanium frame, a significantly brighter display, extended software update support for seven years, and enhanced performance. However, the S23 Ultra remains a strong contender, still ranking as one of the top Android phones in 2024. For current Galaxy S23 Ultra users, the upgrades in the S24 Ultra might not be compelling enough to warrant an immediate switch. The S23 Ultra continues to perform excellently in various aspects. Therefore, if you already own a S23 Ultra, skipping the latest model this year could be a sensible choice. Additionally, if there are significant discounts on the S23 Ultra, it would be a great opportunity to acquire a high-performance smartphone without the premium price tag of the latest model. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.